Um, but you said, what's the difference between drum and bass and jungle? Okay. So I was getting there. <laughs> no, I was, I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I feel like he's, it's going to tie in. Yes. All right. Okay. So, so, you know, jungle was a little bit more um, stripped down. You know, you had the break beats and the reggae bass lines, you know, um, the darker sounds. And then this is where it gets a little controversial. So 94, 95 in England, um, with the reggae scene came in, it came like a lot of gang activity, a lot of drug activity, and the media swooped in and was just like, wait a minute, you know, and it was really big at this time, at this time, like, you know, throughout England, whether it was Leeds or Bristol or London, like, it exploded. I mean, you're talking 10, 20,000 kids at a rave, you know, maybe even more, really, really big, you know, all of the rave companies exploded. So, you know, there started to be competition amongst drug dealers and stuff like that. So when you have that type of, you know, negative energy, right, you get violence, you get territorial violence, you know what I mean? And what the media started to do was associate it with the music, with Jungle. And Jungle started to get a bad rap. Um, and they used to say, you know, you know, the violence is related to the music. And so there was a time in London when it all kind of peaked um, where if you were throwing a jungle party, right? Like, for example, there's a company called Jungle Fever, right? You couldn't get a venue if you, want, if you said you were playing jungle, right? So if a lot of the producers actually got together and had a meeting and said, if we want this thing to keep going, right? We're going we're gonna to need to change it to drum and bass. And it was super controversial because, as you can imagine, if you loved something, you know, from 92 to 95, and you were a really big proponent of it, um, like pr as a producer and as a DJ, and you were pushing this thing, and then all of a sudden some people came in and said, okay, we're going to start calling it drum and bass, you're going to take an offense to it. So the scene split, it was quite, it was quite ugly. A lot of people don't talk about it. Um, and the drum and bass scene was... was was born and the, the family of, split the family split and also to the music change because they wanted to get rid of the element that was coming to uh, so they got rid of the reggae like a lot of the overt reggae the soul the rare groove um, you know all of those elements were stripped out of the music and the, uh, the music got darker you know so we, in, by 96 we got into like the metalheads period right um, and uh, the, that drum and bass was fully born at that point and um so drum and bass was now i think a lot of the people who were pushing drum and bass were like this is going to be future music you know we're going to we're going to really push the genre technologically you know and you know uh, and not make it just about being you know dance floor but on the on the flip side the jump up scene was born right so it was jump up was just like the dance floor version of drum and bass you know, it was just about literally like dancing. MCs gone on there, you know. So, peak, peak hour. Yeah. The, and, and you know what? I mean, I'm giving you a very, very like surface uh, thing because it, it's split into so many subgenres now. It's like house. Yeah. You know, drum and bass and jungle are like house. Like you've got liquid, which is like your soulful, you know, you've, it's like soulful stuff, you know. Sure. And then you've got your ragga jungle. You've got dark stuff your tech step, your Nero, like these are all genres in their own right with their own scenes and their own artists. But do any of these families play with each other or is that not acceptable? Yeah, there's, I mean, especially now it's like, it's at festivals, right? So you might get multiple stages hosted by different labels, you know? Um, and that's a really big thing. Kids pay big money to go to like an Outlook festival and, you know, go to the Metalhead stage or, you know, go to hospital, hospital, um, they do hospital on the beach and hospital in the park and and now you know if you go to a hospital um festival they've got like a jungle tent so they'll like have kings of the rollers or spot because they have their jungle artists mm -hmm. so it's almost like labels are diversifying now you know we've got our liquid artists we've got our dark side artists our neuro artists we've got our, re our reggae jungle artists but so then you know they have their own stage so if you go to a festival there's something for you so if you're into liquid you're gonna go check out you know, Fabio, LTJ Bookham, you know, all these guys. And then, 
you know, you're going to go to the Kings of the Roller stage and you're going to hear, you know, a modern take on Jungle, you know.